In this demonstration, you'll learn about the Fluent user interface. Fluent features a ribbon-driven workflow where you can set up most of your problem either directly in the ribbon or from a task page or dialog box that opens from the ribbon. For consistency, these can be opened by double-clicking the corresponding branch in the tree. With the ribbon driving the workflow, the tree is a dynamic representation of your project. For example, when you define models in the ribbon, they show up as enabled in the tree. Context menus provide a variety of additional options. You can choose to organize boundary conditions by name or by type, or you can use this field to quickly search for items in the tree. You can select a series of items to perform relevant actions such as changing these wall boundaries to interface type. The graphics window displays the mesh by default once it's loaded and offers a wide selection of viewing tools for 3D manipulation. It will also show residuals and report plots for monitoring solution convergence. Solution monitoring is handled using report definitions, which can be created via the ribbon or the tree. In this case, I'll set up a report definition for the minimum pressure at the rotor and stator blades using the filtering capability. I'll select all the rotor and stator blades. Enabling these checkboxes creates a file and plot for this report with default names based on the name you provided for the report definition. Now that I've run a simulation, I can use the graphics window for post-processing. Here's a scene that I've created for this demonstration. Using the Scene Creation tool, it's easy to combine multiple graphics into the same window, such as velocity vectors on top of pressure contours. You can increase the size of the graphics window by hiding the ribbon contents. Note that you can still access the contents while they are hidden. You can also rearrange pieces of the overall real estate by dragging and dropping. For example, I can pin the task page and console on top of the tree. When I'm finished, I can easily revert to the default layout. The console visually differentiates different types of inputs and outputs. Fluent generated text is printed in black, while user inputs show up in blue. Errors are reported in red, so you won't miss them. The console has a toggle option for whether or not it automatically scrolls when new text is printed. You may want to disable automatic scrolling if you are viewing printed contents while the solver is running. This will allow you to review the contents at your own pace. I encourage you to check out the release notes for a full list of new features available in the current release. Thanks for watching.